Hello everyone, glad to have you with me, CK Too Much here, back at it again with God Empress Daenerys, the Fury, the Black Grace of Giscar. Uh, so in the last episode, guys, we kind of handled the situation in Karth. Uh, we got them settled in. I actually created a new uh, vassal, the King of Karth. No more slavery. Um... He is actually not the old ruler of Karth. That would be this gentleman here. Although it looks like he's actually... Ooh, he's making a play for Karth. I wonder if I can command him to end the war. Probably not. Uh, I will have him arrested for treason. Ooh, 50-50 shit. Okay, you know what? Hold on a second. I didn't come into this episode expecting this, but this is the second time he has directly disobeyed me. Um... I could brand him as a traitor, but to be honest, I think I want to get him imprisoned. I'll have him arrested for treason. Did not work. <laughs> uh, okay. So, looks like we're going to have to deal with a little bit of a rebellion. Uh, that's too bad. But, ah, actually, it looks like... Mm, hold on a second. Ooh. Star is trying to kill me. Oof, okay, that's not good. Uh, I think I will ask him to leave court in that situation then. Yes, okay. Bye-bye. Um, all right, then. So, um, let me give it a second. Let me see how is this going to look. Oh, okay, so I don't have to deal with this. He, he's going to deal with this. But I don't think he has enough men to deal with this. Hmm. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, well, maybe then I don't have to deal with that at the moment. So there's a little bit of a civil war going on in Karth. This guy is uh, kind of a badass. <laughs> uh, I took Karth away from him. And he went ahead and took some of the vassals that I took away from him. And now he's going for Karth itself. Uh, you know, to be honest, I probably could have let this just play out because he has more men than them. But my husband's going to go in there with a couple more men and take care of them. Um, I also wanted to do a quick check into... Oh, well, hold on. Anyway, so yeah, we kind of handled the situation in Karth, but it's still kind of ongoing. We have a new king, but he's still kind of securing his power base. Um, and other than that, we tried to... Uh, deal with the Dothraki who are attacking the, the Lazarine, but not very successfully. Sorry guys, got a little bit of a peanut in my mouth. Or in my throat, rather. Um, and that was mainly because I couldn't do Dragon Conquest because Drogon was wounded, or maimed. Um, I, did, I decided that I was going to use cheat codes to remove this maiming. Um, I gave him like two years to recover, or it was something like that. And you know what, I, I feel like, you know, in CK2, it works a little differently, but in the, in the books and in the show, I have three dragons, none of which have riders. So, theoretically, she could hop on any of these. So, I feel like it's not that bad for me to use cheat codes to take away his maiming, you know, two years after he got it, but, you know, if you guys have a problem with that, let me know in the comments. I, I don't want to abuse the cheat codes and diminish the series, but I also wanted to take a quick look at Westeros before we started. That's something that I want to do at the beginning and end of each episode, I think. It looks like Tyrion um, has really expanded. I mean, this is what the rock should look like, and this is what it does look like. So he's gotten a couple of douches in here. And he's definitely making a play to control the Crownlands region. Uh, I've also decided that I think I'm going to give my son Bailey's uh, King's Landing before he is, or once he comes of age. But oh yeah, there's also one more thing I wanted to take a look at. Uh, the White Sword Tower. One of my subscribers, uh, Anderson, was mentioning that they... Um, it looks like they disappeared, but I don't think it was because I gave it away to anyone. I think maybe... Be okay, here we go. The White Book. Oh, interesting. 
here is a list of all the current members. Oh, okay. I th I don't think it's because I gave it away to anyone, although I'm not sure. I think it's just because I got rid of the kingdom uh, so that there is currently no king's guard. Okay, well that's a little depressing. I was I was actually happy that I still had the king's guard even though I'm over here in Giscar. But oh well, I, I plan on doing more future uh, playthroughs with Daenerys. N not in the near future, but in the far future where I explore some different options that she could take. Uh, and in that case, I can use some cool DLCs, which Anderson recommended. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started here. I am done with these Dothraki constantly attacking the Lazarine. So I'm going to attack each of these guys who are currently attacking them. So that includes Areco. All right, Dragon Conquest of Areco. They will surely uphold their obligations. Ego, Dragon Conquest of Ego, uh, Jomo, and where is Jomo? He's under the Zolo, so then I will attack the Zolo, who are also attacking them. Yeah. And, um, and Zolo, yeah, and Versalo, who is also under Zolo. All right, so let's go ahead and get our guys up and running. I'll also go ahead and get my, I'll just get my fleet together here. Okay. I can probably get a lot of them, yeah, just on a boat. Ah, okay. And because of the war that he was in earlier with the Carthian, I think he will stay in our, um, in, within our empire during the war so that's cool okay so let's go ahead and get them sent over to marine then but we'll see it's possible that that is not the case okay and let me slow it down a bit and look at that young kai has agreed to meet with us new geese has agreed to fight with us uh okay and oh look at that mr zolo has decided to agree to the con Quest? Oh, he's now my suzer. I am his suzerain. That actually um, makes a lot of sense. It might be better to do it that way rather than like directly conquering them. But he's still at war with Lazar, uh, which is something that I really don't want to deal with. Okay, so now I can call. Oh, that's interesting. So now I can call Zolo into these wars. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. Well, I'll go ahead and uh, lead this army myself. Although that really might not be necessary. Yeah, maybe I don't need to. Okay, I'll go ahead and send this ego army up here. And I'll get these guys settled in. I don't think I'm going to need that many. Uh, okay, so yeah, more wildfire going off in King's Landing. Glad I'm not there. Ooh, Eknaz. Oh, maybe I should intervene. I could take that as an excuse to maybe get rid of him. Ah, he was grateful for my help. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so he just owes me a favor. Could be useful when it comes to an unruly vassal. Okay, so I'm a... Oh, what about this Remco? He... Okay, he's joined in the defense. Okay, I'm gonna have to march my guys all the way up to uh, the Shivering Sea. But it's gonna be worth it. And I can storm Remco as well. Alright, so we'll have our first little battle here on the plains of Hesh. 
we vastly outnumber them. Even though there's no dragging, dragon present, I think we're going to win very easily. Still more wildfire going on. Okay. So we've gotten a pretty nice decisive victory there. We'll move into Remeco. And we'll also get to crush the Iraqi army. Oh, okay, so this smaller army, I think that I will control. Um, yes, and I will take Eknaz and Yarbo up with me. So let's go, guys. We'll begin our march. Oh, actually, wait. Wait for them. Who is this? Oh, it's the army of Solo. Okay. Well, you know what? This is this will be good if we can tame the Dothraki Sea, make them work for us as tributaries. That makes a lot of sense, and we don't have to deal with you know their nomadic government. So that's pretty good, actually. And I'll bring down this fleet. Okay. Uh, yes, it is my duty. I've been waiting for this forever. So yeah, my my um, Lazarine King is in trouble. It's my duty to help him. I don't know why it took so long for it to do that. That could have saved me a lot of trouble. Oh, look at this. Mr. Romeko. He has been imprisoned by Mr. Osnak. Okay, good for him. Good for him. Alright, let's see if we can deal with these guys. I'm so tired of these notifications from King's Landing. Okay, and look at that. Baileys Targaryen. You know, now I'm worried that if I give Baileys King's Landing that he's going to die in this wildfire. Um, yes, it's everyone's concern. Greedy bastard. 25 gold for an empress. That is nothing. Daenerys Targaryen wipes her ass with 25 gold. Uh, okay, so uh, yes, so we'll continue moving up there. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. I was actually kind of worried what it would be like to capture so much of this territory as a dragon conquest, but I'm happy that they have that mechanic in there, that if you dragon conquest a nomad, that they'll just become your, you know, uh, tributary. I, I wonder if it's a permanent tributary? Um, or what? Ah, the tributary breaks when the suzerain dies. That sucks. Well, I guess that makes sense. You know, every time we get a new person, they'll have to deal with them. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and send this army down here. I'm going to use this army to free the Lazar and attack any armies that might come my way. Um, I'm going to use this army to deal with the the enemies. Although I, oh, I'm only fighting Ego. What happened to Arako? I guess this just got roped in with my war in, in Lazar. Hmm. Interesting. Well, maybe then I should just make all the Dothraki bend the knee. Oh, okay. Uh, small private funeral will suffice. I don't know him. <laughs> okay, so there's been a little bit of a peasant revolt here. And my husband's joining in this war independently. Oh. Mm, okay, I, I guess I don't need to bring these guys in from Karth. Okay, and this guy has been dealt with. He's not in prison, so... Maybe he escaped through another trial by combat. Okay, I'm not going to take these men. That'll make the Carthine a little bit happier with me, I think. Okay, Cesra, be just to all its children if you want to serve the Harpy Fate. Oh, and this is my future daughter-in-law. That's great. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, never mind. He's at war with more people and it won't let me help him. 
Okay, okay. We're gonna split you. Um... You know what? No. Okay. I feel like I'm just running around trying to catch these guys. Alright, dealing with the Dothraki. Not as easy as it is. And not for the reason you would expect. Militarily, no problem. Organizationally, a fucking nightmare. This is kind of giving me Drogo series vibe. So I did a series with Drogo where I was trying to put Daenerys on the Iron Throne. And I spent so much of my time just running all over Essos. Okay, here we go. So I can get rid of this guy. 82. Does he have some other places that I don't know about? Maybe I have to defeat him in combat. Okay, well, let's go up to Moscow. Moscow sounds like Moscow. <clears throat> mm, okay. Yeah, they are running scared. Oh, there's the Ego Army. They're going to Atakosh. No, we're going to Atakosh. Okay, I think we may have finally caught them. But we will see. Ooh, Masande had an un had a daughter from an unknown father. Very interesting. Ah, it's from Mr. Farak. Okay. Yeah, her husband was slain in a trial by combat against this Carthine rebel. So now she's been an orphan ever since. Oh, that's too bad. And her son died of injuries, probably also in battle. She has really given a lot for our family, hmm? I would like to maybe find her another husband. Maybe this guy, Agor. He seems nice. Alright, well let's get her trained up. Maybe she could be trained up in faith. Maybe I can tutor her myself. Uh, no, not the High Septon. Or we can send her to the one of the green graces and asked her for make sure she has a good good education her mother's really done a lot for us and so has her brother and father okay here we go this this war will probably settle it with the egos but i need to get the rest of these dothraki under control and that is not going to be as easy as it sounds oh my god i'm gonna have to bring my army home you know what <laughs> just go home it's gonna take forever just to get them home. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, so I am also their suzerain. S okay, so wars have been settled. Although I would still, I really wish he would bring me into all of his wars. Because I want him as my vassal again. Well, hmm. I noticed that I couldn't quite do, um, hmm, okay, you know what, I just realized something. If I have tributized these Dothraki, this means that they might still be engaging in slavery. Hmm. Which is not what I want. All right, look at Bailey's. He has become a skilled commander, very high marshal, higher than his brothers. All right, well, um, I guess I'll go ahead and grant him the high lordship of King's Landing, and hopefully he will not die from the fire. But we'll see. Okay. Oh, look at that. Doran is getting in on the action here. So is the Stormlands, so Dantos Bywater has become part of Dorn. Long way from home. Uh, oh, okay, what's this? Defending against Alton's host against Shipbreaker Bay. So Alton Humble, the Ironborn guy, uh, with 900 men, is about to get crushed by the Storm Queen. Okay, I thought he was winning. Okay. Queen Teresa. Oh, what's going on in Dorne? 
Ah, this war against Princess Ariane. Okay. And the, the North is still a mess. Who are you fighting against? Oh, okay, so Benjen is... Benjen Karstark is going for the North. I wish him all the best because this looks like a mess up here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Alright, so we'll go ahead and get our guys back here. Uh, and Griserius has asked me to spend some quality time at Dragonstone. That sounds nice. I can go back, see the town. Uh, oh. King Bailey's king of what? King of the Seven Kingdoms? My son refused the invitation. How silly of him. Um. Mm, mm, hmm? What? 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 <laughs> um. This is. Okay, I think this is a glitch. So he has the title Seven Kingdoms of the Iron Throne. <sighs> okay, I wonder what I just got myself into. But he's not my va He is my vassal, but he isn't my vassal. Uh, what is this? We honor your obligation and answer the call to arms against him. No. In fact, I would very much like you to stop this war, and I wish I could join him. <laughs> Leave these Lazarine alone. And you know what? There's no guarantee that they'll stop raiding him because of the Mega War system. So this is this is kind of a, a bit of a mess. I don't really know how to deal with this. Um, hmm. Very odd. Very, very odd. Alright guys, to be honest, I don't really know exactly how to deal with this situation. Things just keep getting more and more absurd. Alright, well I'm gonna get my guys back. <sighs> yeah, because now my tributary is at war with the Lazarine, and there's nothing I can really do. this. The musky odor of mud fills my lungs as I stare in disbelief at my soiled clothes. The two urchins run away with me while my parade suddenly halts in the middle of the street and my servants start surrounding me asking if I'm hurt. Ooh, okay, so someone uh, covered me in shit. <laughs> the God Empress, wow. Uh, I immediately run after the two little criminals but they have already disappeared. In my rage, I spend hours wandering around Astapor in my pitiful state, yelling for the two scoundrels to come out. When I finally return to my keep, a letter from Cargas awaits me, implying his involvement in the affair. Interesting. So I'm getting a little bit depressed here. Well, yeah, this is that old spy master who I gave land to because he was such a good spy master. I maybe I should try to get rid of him somehow. Hmm. Not quite sure how to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and seek treatment for my illness. My gonorrhea is still plaguing me. And now I'm depressed as well. Not good for Daenerys' health. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, this is absurd. Okay. Um, hold on a minute. Uh, so, Baileys has claimed himself king of the Iron Throne. Uh, that is not what I wanted to happen. So, hold on, guys. Let me go ahead and fix this real quick. Actually, I just realized something. So, I didn't. I ended up not using any cheat codes um, to deal with this. I guess you could even say that this is maybe like a way that he uh, rebelled against me. So actually, maybe I'll have to take some action against him. But this is this is very odd. This is just kind of a glitch. He's just 
So he went ahead and he he conquered uh, part of North Cracklaw. Cracklaw. Well, you know, maybe I should just let him have it. You know what? Okay. For now, I'm just gonna let him have it. If he uh, starts getting into trouble, I will get involved. But you know, I did say that I might let my children take the Iron Throne. If Bailey's wants to claim it for himself, that's fine. You know, he he can take that, and then uh, Grizzaries can have the Empire. I just didn't expect it to happen this way. And his his dragon's not. Mm, okay. This dragon's kind of about how Drogon was when I started my conquest. Okay, I'll keep an eye on him, uh, and I'll get my guys in here. Alright, my court physician has come to see me. As long as you know what you're doing, please heal me. And hopefully he does know what he's doing. Look at that, I actually feel better. Ooh, interesting, he's rivals with my husband. Ah, maybe that's why he does such a good job. Um... I need a new bodyguard, so I will give that to, oh, I guess, Kendall. Okay, so they are trying to take away Giscari Point. Um, oh, okay. Wait, what? Launch an investigation. Okay, so this guy says that one of my subjects is pillaging in his lands. I find that hard to believe, but okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, bring down the men. I'll bring up this these men, hop on my dragon, and let's go over to Giscar Point. Hopefully we can stop them from sieging it, but I'm not sure if we'll get there in time. Doesn't look like it. That's a shame. That's a shame. Mm, actually, maybe. There's a little bit more than we thought. Maybe, maybe. Okay, hold on. Maybe we'll just get there. Ah, no. Didn't get there in time. Oh, crap! I just realized it's mountains. That's not good. Okay, so let's send in some reinforcements. Well, we still have a dragon. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, well, this second army will crush them. Okay, I didn't realize that there were mountains there. That is unfortunate. Oh, Ashro has been slain? Oh no, he wasn't slain. Oh, he slayed one of my commanders. Okay. Okay, well in that case, I'll lead this army. <laughs> and I'll get Grazar and, sure, my husband Osnak as well. And I'll crush them from the big shore. Okay, so King Baileys has declared war on uh, Mr. Rosby of Brune. Okay, interesting. So it looks like he might be trying to recreate uh, the Seven Kingdoms. Okay, well, that's something cool that we can watch. Something cool indeed. Uh, okay. So does this mean the King's Guard is back? Like if I do show me the white book. Look at that. Alright, so Anderson, good news, the King's Guard is back. We have the Lord Commander. Oh, interesting. Lord Wendell Frey. I don't remember him. Let me brush up on my memory here. Um he's the nineteenth son of Walder Frey. And Okay, interesting. So he he's at Sea Guard. Inter okay, actually, I don't remember this character. It's saying here that Wendell remains at Sea Guard. He oh he's a page at Sea Guard, with the Malisters. After his rumor that his father has besieged the castle and imprisoned Lord Malister and his son Patrick. Okay, interesting. Uh, very interesting. So, long distant relative of Mr. Frey. So, not a ter you know good title, good name. Um, not not great marshal, but 
you know, he's a lord. Another fray. Oh my god, are they all frays? No, no, okay. Very in root. Not a very good commander. Three frays. That's crazy. Okay, so the king's guard is filled with frays. Very interesting. Okay, I did not expect this to happen. Um, okay, I guess I'll have to end this in a minute, but I did not accomplish what I wanted to in this episode. Okay, so, Jesus, man, I have 500 troops out of the 15,000 that I should have. What is going on? It, it just looks like, yeah, like none of them are... None of my troops are, uh, re or, you know, coming back online. All right, let's get a new treasurer. Yeah, we can get the King of Karth. Oh, I need a Master of Whispers. I guess I can give it to my husband. He is relatively high. Um, intrigue. Chief General, please go train troops in Astapor. We desperately, desperately need them. Okay. Well, I guess I can continue to break the Dothraki, but like, I just wish that I could help these guys out. Yeah, I don't know what to do about this. Um, uh, okay, so this is odd. So we have a truce. But I don't know what for. <laughs> um, okay. Well... I am tired of dancing around here, guys. Uh, I have... I did liberate Karth, and I've sort of dealt with some of these Dothraki. But, you know, I became God Empress of Giscar to end slavery, and I have done that in very little places. So, I, I am done. In the next episode, we are going straight to Volantis, and we are going to end slavery there, guys. So, join me next time. And we will start our liberation of the free cities. And Bravos is actually already helping us out by dealing with Pentos. And you can tune in next time to see how Baileys is doing with his reconquest of the Seven Kingdoms. So, I'll see you guys next time.